More than 20 years ago, Figen Shastim had just graduated. She wanted to become a lawyer, but no one would give her an internship or even let her work in the courts because she wore a headscarf. I applied to many places for internship, but because of my headscarf, nobody wanted to take me. Some of my colleagues said if I cleaned the places and make tea, they could accept me as an intern, like using me as a secretary. Fegan found her progress blocked because of the postmodern coup of 1997, a coup where there were few tanks on the streets. Instead, the military put pressure on Conservative Prime Minister Nejmetin Erbakan to accept a series of secular measures, like restrictions on the wearing of headscarves in public and people attending religious schools, and he was eventually forced from office. Of the February 28th period, still are hurting a lot of families. Families were broken. Most people don't talk about this. People committed suicide. Women were forced out of schools. They were forced out of hospitals. Two decades later, dozens of military officers are on trial in Ankara, charged with overthrowing by force or participating in the overthrow of the government. During my working life, I have experienced all kinds of sorrow and traumas because of the February 28 coup. I have lived or witnessed many victimizations in education and working life, academic and in the law and in the military. Fegan did eventually become a lawyer, and she's now head of the Women's Lawyers Association in Turkey and also an undersecretary at the Forestry Ministry. And many politicians who supported Erbakan now hold positions in Turkey's ruling AK Party. Andrew Hopkins, TRT World.